This episode brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash Mr. Mobile. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman. You're watching Mr. Mobile. Today we're going to take a look at a third-party application for BlackBerry called Vigo, that's V-I-I-G-O, which is an RSS reader. Now, some of you may not know what RSS is, so very quickly, it's a simple syndication format, or really simple syndication format, that allows a website to push information to you instead of you having to go to the website to download it. They're really, really handy for things like blogs or newspapers so that you can just look at them on your BlackBerry. They all get aggregated into one place in Vigo, and you don't have to go and check a whole bunch of different websites for information. When you're browsing a website and you're wondering if it has an RSS feed, look for the little RSS icon, and if you're running Firefox or the newer versions of Internet Explorer, you should actually see it appear in the location bar or towards the top of your page to show you that an RSS feed exists for the page and to make subscription really easy. We're going to take a look at Vigo on the BlackBerry. There are RSS readers on the desktop, and in fact, Google Reader exists if you'd like something that's kind of web-based, and you can actually access that from your web browser, maybe in an iPhone, on a BlackBerry, on, on your desktop, so that kind of makes cross-device really easy. BlackBerry-specific, Vigo is definitely the way to go. So I've gone ahead and installed Vigo on here. If you'd like to do it on your BlackBerry, just visit Vigo.com, look for the download section. They make it really, really easy to get it on there. And you can either do that from your phone, so you can install it directly, or you can have them send you an SMS with a download link, and that way you can just click on the link on the BlackBerry and have it install the software. Let's take a look at it. Applications that get downloaded on a Storm or on any BlackBerry running 4.7, which is the new version of the operating system, will end up in the Downloads folder. So I'm going to go and look inside the Downloads folder first, and you'll see that I've installed a couple of third-party applications already, Gmail, MySpace, and Vigo. So we're going to click on Vigo, and that will take us into the application. Vigo's home screen gives you access to a bunch of different categories, and these are actually a really handy way to organize the content so that it's easy for you to be able to browse different sections by just jumping back and forth. One of the things that Vigo does that most RSS readers actually don't do is give you access to some feeds of information that aren't necessarily, necessarily RSS feeds. So, for example, they include a weather section here, and by tapping on the weather section, I can get weather for different cities, and I can add other cities as well. So, beyond just being a source of news or maybe blog content, Vigo can actually help you to find a lot of the information you're looking for. One important key to remember when you're navigating Vigo is the BlackBerry back button, and that's true on the Storm or on any other browser. That will actually allow you to go back upwards through the menus. It took me a little while to figure that out the first time I ran the application. So back from there takes us back up to our list of categories, and we can see things like, for example, sports, stocks and finance, local interest, shopping, so lots of different content in here. One of the things you're going to want to do, though, is add your favorite RSS feeds. That might be for blogs that you read or for newspapers, and if they're not already in here, it's actually really simple to add them. So going into the News and RSS section, shows you all the RSS feeds that already exist in Vigo. It comes with most of these. I've already added one, and you can see the unread count of items that are over here. The one that I've added is actually the butterscotch feed for Mr. Mobile, so if you wanted to be notified whenever there was a new Mr. Mobile episode, you can add that RSS feed, and you can find it by going to the Mr. Mobile section of butterscotch.com. And once you tap on that feed, you'll actually get a list of all of the applications that are there. Again, don't forget that the back button takes you back out of one of the things that you're looking at, so in this case, back to the RSS section. I probably subscribe to about two or 300 RSS feeds for different websites, blogs, and all that sort of thing that I like to read. And so having an aggregator makes it possible for me to keep up with all of those. Something like Vigo on my BlackBerry is an absolute lifesaver in terms of the information I want to consume, and so I highly, highly recommend it. In fact, there's actually a petition going around the internet right now asking people to sign to have RIM make Vigo part of the standard distribution of Blackberries, because that's just how good the application is. Check it out at Vigo.com. Link is in the show notes. Have a great time reading your RSS feeds. I'm Jay Goldman. This has been Mr. Mobile. Thanks for watching. Check us out on butterscotch.com for more episodes. This episode brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash Mr. Mobile.